<laughs> Three, two, one. Hey there. Hi there. Hey, it's Rochelle Shaw, author of The Million Dollar Equation, and <laughs> I am the Fox 5 Money Honey. Um, I do all of the financial segments for our local Fox 5 here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, so uh, yesterday, folks were commenting on my video about, hey, I'm back, and that there's haters, and they were asking, well, what exactly do you do? How do you help entrepreneurs? So um I, I forgot to like tell y'all <laughs> that for many years I was the only female African American public utility owner in the nation. I built my first business from three hundred thousand to thirty six million. I lost it all, and then I rebuilt back my million dollar business in about five months. And that's what was reported in USA Today: Entrepreneur, Smart Money. Um, several of those are are here on my wall. Can you see it from Entrepreneur? That and all that stuff that's here in my office and couple of other things that are over there um, but so let's talk about why you know the the main three reasons why your business is struggling um, and this is what I've found with working with entrepreneurs for the last 12 or 15 years I've worked with about 12,157 I think that's what my website says um, now I think it's a little bit more <laughs> but um, so let's talk about the three reasons three reasons why it always seems to happen yes all right so the first one is that you have the wrong business model. Um, <clears throat> I talked to several entrepreneurs this weekend um, while I was on my MD book tour in uh, San Francisco, Oakland, in the Bay Area. And most of them, their business model is set up wrong. It's not set up so that you can leverage. It's set up so that it keeps you stuck. And here's one of the reasons why you're stuck is because you can only see you know, three people a day five people in a week um, based on it, it takes all of your energy, all of the entrepreneur's energy, instead of having systems that work automatically, right? So you really need to um, figure out like what is your business model and make sure that it's one that can leverage your business. So for example, in the telephone business, uh, my business models were the customer comes in, we can turn on their service, and it wasn't me turning on their service. I spent my time getting the phone to ring and getting customers to come in, yes? But my staff did the rest of that. So make sure that your business model is right and that it's sitting there ready to do it. Okay, um, second reason why a lot of businesses are struggling is because they have no system, right? They're just kind of winging it every day. They're not really sure what they're supposed to be doing, and they're not really sure how to move the business forward. So they they get to their their desk every morning and they start with their email. <laughs> and when they start with their email, they start with, okay, well, what should I do? Which is a reactive situation. Instead of starting with, you understand what your plan is, it's laid out, and you know what you're supposed to do every single day in the business. So that's the second reason why I noticed that a lot of entrepreneurs are struggling. Um, and then the third reason is one that's, <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard um, to talk about, but, you know, I have to just tell like it is, all right? And this is because the way that you are describing your product or your service, nobody wants it. Yeah, nobody wants it. They, they don't want to do whatever it is that you are providing it. You are not giving them, you're giving them what they need instead of giving them what they want. So, for example, I have a private client who has a business that, that just helps um, entrepreneurs with etiquette, right? And one of the challenges she had at first is that, you know, entrepreneurs, they don't think that they have bad etiquette. They don't know what this is, what the problem is when um, they pick up the wrong fork, okay? So it was the way that she was describing it that made them feel as if it didn't make sense and they didn't really want it. We switched it. We switched it to, she actually switched it, um, to, okay, now, why are they not buying from me? Why are they not buying from you? It may be these three things, okay? Now, they're like, well, okay, well, tell me what are the three things, and then the three things include not the wrong fork, but how you are, you know, disrespecting the client on the other side of the prospect, see? So, I want you to take... Um, your assignment <laughs> is to take a look at your business and first look at at your business model. Is it one that can be leveraged? Is it one that could really get you to the million dollar and, and doesn't require you to work? 
The second is to see what systems you have in place, what systems you have in place to get new customers, to keep your existing customers, and to get your existing customers to come back more often. Right? There's only three ways to grow, but that's another video. I think there's um, actually one already here on my page that you can watch that talks about that. And then the last is make sure that you're selling what people want, not what people need. You know, not what people need. They say, oh, well, well, yes, you need to make your bed every morning. Well, yeah, okay, but I don't want to buy that. I, I don't care about that. I want to buy what I want. I want to buy the solution to the problem. Um, so in the million dollar equation, that's chapter one. You know, what is your great solution? What problem are you solving? So you need to make sure that you've got that um, in that particular book. And then, uh, yeah. That's it. So I did receive yesterday one gal asked me, um, hey, Rochelle, can you tell me how do I get new clients? That's what I'm struggling with right now. And so one of the questions that I always ask is, well, well how did you get new clients before? You know, first of all, just go back and do that. <laughs> right. And then um, if you're not really sure how you got them before, then one of the things that we have inside of MD Nation, which is my membership site that I have tons of training in, is uh, how to create a converting offer. How to get new customers to come to you. Um, if you'd like some information on that, just, just leave it in the comments and in the links, and I'll be sure to post those so that you can see that really how you get a new customer and how you get them to come to you is you, you have to create the funnel Okay? You have to create a way that they raise their hand and they say, tell me more, and then you have something to provide for them so that now it's flowing down through. What should they buy from you first? What should they buy from you second? Um, how do they ascend through your process and through your system? Remember we talked about that? The three reasons why you're probably struggling is because you don't have a system for that. So uh, I'd love to help you, you know, create your system, create those things to help build your own million dollar business. And uh, if you have any questions, you can just leave them right there and you know, we'll get it together. All right. All right. All right. Good to see you again. Um, hope to see you tomorrow and uh, let's keep working on it. All right. See you in two and two. Bye-bye.